Hello everyone. So, this is the third lecture of this course and today I am going to introduce you another direct method for solving linear system that is called LU decomposition. So, again the idea of this method LU decomposition is the same which we were having in case of uh, in case of Gaussian elimination that to convert the coefficient matrix in triangular matrix. However, in Gaussian elimination we were converting or reducing our matrix into an upper triangular matrix and then we were using back substitution. Here the idea is to write the coefficient matrix as a product of lower and upper triangular matrices and then solve the linear system of equation using forward followed by the back substitutions. So, consider the system of equation say x equals to b this also known as the decomposition or factorization method. So, the coefficient matrix A is decomposed or factorized into product of lower triangular and an upper triangular matrix is L and U. So, A equals to L and U, L into U, L is lower triangular matrix and U is the upper triangular matrix. So, these two matrices are given as, as you can see it is n by n matrix L and it is a lower triangular matrix because all the entries above the main diagonal are 0. Similarly, U is an upper triangular matrix and here all the entries below the main diagonal are 0. We are using the usual matrix multiplication to multiply the matrices L and U. So, basically what we are doing? We are taking the system x equals to b, but what we are doing at this moment we will focus on the decomposition of this coefficient matrix as the product of two matrices L and U. So, if we are having again a 3 by 3 system A 1 1 a 1 2, a 1 3, a 2 1, a 2 2, a 2 3, a 3 1, a 3 2, a 3 3. This can be written as the product of a 3 by 3 lower triangular matrix so this is the lower triangular matrix l into an upper triangular matrix u u11 u12 u13 0 u22 u23 0 0 u 3 3. Now, if we look in the left hand side we are tot having total 9 entries. These 9 entries are known to us. However, in the right hand side we are having total 12 entries, 6 from the matrix L and 6 from the matrix U. Hence, if we multiply these two matrices and try to find out the values of all L i j and U i j, we will not be able to do because here we are having only 9 entries. So, 9 equations and 12 unknowns. So, what is the solution of? So, if I am uh, what is the solution to th this problem? In general, I can say this problem is like that if a is n by n matrix then I will be having total n square plus 
an unknown because you can see here in first row I will be having 1, in second row 2, in third row 3, in nth row n. So, it will be sum of 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to n that will be basically n into n plus 1 by 2. So, n into n plus 1 by 2 from the lower triangular matrix, n into n plus 1 by 2 from the upper triangular matrix total will become n square plus n unknowns including all L i j and u i j. While for a n by n matrix A, I will be having only n square and trees, which is known to me. So, somehow I need to reduce n unknowns. So, what I will do? If I write the diagonal entry entries of either from L or diagonal, uh, diagonal entries of U as 1, 1, 1, then the trick will work. So, what I will do? Either I will choose these entries as 1, 1, 1. So, L i j equals to 1 when i equals to j. So, what will happen? The n entries will become less here. So, n number of unknowns will be reduced. So, n square unknown, n square entries, I will get a unique solution for the LU factorization. Or instead of this, I can take all the diagonal entries of my upper triangular matrix as 1. So, if I take the diagonal entries of lower triangular matrix as 1, the method is known as Doolittle method. If I take the entries of upper triangular matrix as 1, entries means diagonal entries. The method is called the Krauss method. Now, let us take the entries of upper triangular matrix the entries those are a diagonal main diagonal H 1 then total 9 6 unknowns from here 3 unknowns from here and 9 entries then what I will do I will find out the values of all L i j and u i j. So, if we take u i i equals to 1 from i equals to 1 to n means all diagonal entries of upper triangular matrix age 1. The system of equation 1 can be written as L i j equals to A i j minus summation k equals to 1 to j minus 1 L i k u k j whenever i is greater than equals to j. This can be written in this way whenever i is less than j by the equation 2. If and all rest of the u i i equals to 1. So, when i is not uh, i is less than j u i j is given by this equation, when i is greater than equals to j l i j is given by this equation. So, this equation will give all the entries of lower triangular matrix, this equation will give you all the entries of upper triangular matrix those are above the main diagonal and the entries of the upper triangular matrix basically the diagonal entries are 1. Then what we will do? From the first column of the matrix L, we can find out the entries like L 1 1, L 2 1, L 3 1 and L n 1 because the first column of the lower triangular matrix will be identical to the matrix A. After doing this, after finding L i 1 for i all i equals to 1 to n, what we will do? We will go to first row. In first row, we can calculate all u 1 j that will be basically a 1 j upon l 1 1, where j equals to 2 to n. Here j, we are taking j from 2 because j u 1 1 is already we have fixed as 1. So, first column will give you the entries like l 1 1, L 2 1, L 3 1 and so on. 
the first row will give you the entries like u11, u1, u11 is 1, u12, u13 up to u1n and then what we will do? Then we will go to second column, second column will give me the entry like li2 equals to ai2 minus li1 u12 i equals to 2 to n and then second row will give the entries of second row of u by the equation 5 and then we will go like third row, column, third row, fourth column, fourth row and so on and we will get able to get all these entries lij and uij. So, here we will take an example of this method. Okay, so, take a 3 by 3 matrix A which is given as 1, 2, 4 and then the second row of this matrix is 3, 8, 14 and the last row of this matrix is 2, 6, 13. Now, in Krauss method, when we are decomposing this as a lower triangular matrix and upper triangular matrix, a equals to L11, 0, 0, L21, L22, 0 and then L31, L32, L33. So, this is the lower triangular matrix L into an upper triangular matrix U. So, here I am taking the main diagonal elements of U as 1. So, 1 u 1 2 u 1 3 0 1 u 2 3 0 0 1. Now, if I multiply these two matrices, then the first element will be L 1 1, then the second element will be L11 U12 and the third element will be L11 U13. Similarly, from the second row of L, if I multiply with first column, this element will be L21, this element will be L21 U12 plus L22 and this entry will be L21 U13 plus L22 U23. In the last row of the product matrix, this element will be L31, this element will become L31 U12 plus L32 and finally, the last entry of this matrix will be L31 U13 plus L32 U23 plus L33. So, this matrix equals to A. Now, comparing these two matrices and the comparison will be done based on the strategy I have earlier explained. Then initially we will compare the elements of first column. So, when I compare the elements of first column of this matrix with this one, I will get L11 equals to 1, L21 equals to 3 and finally, L31 equals to 2. So, after comparing the elements of first column, now I will compare the elements of first row. So, I will take this element and this element is L11 into U12 and in this matrix this is 2. Since L11 is 1, so U12 comes out to be 2. So, here u 12 is 2. Now, I will take this element 
So, when I will compare this element with this one L 1 1 is already 1, so I will get U 1 3 H 4. Now, I will compare the elements of second column. So, the for this I will take this particular element. So, L 2 1 U 1 2 plus L 2 2 equals to 8. I know L 2 1, L 2 1 is 3 into U 1 2 is 2 plus L 2 2 is 8. So, from here I got L 2 2 equals to 8 minus 6 that is 2. Now, I will take this element. So, from this gives me this gives me L 3 1 U 1 2 plus L 3 2 and from here it is 6 L 3 1 is 2 U 1 2 is 2 plus L 3 2 equals to 6 and from here I got L 3 2 equals to 2. So, the out of the 9 elements I got 7 elements just by comparing two, uh, 2 columns and 1 row. Now, I will compare second row. So, from second row this uh, elements already I have taken in comparison this one I have taken. So, now I will go for this element. So, when I will compare this element it is L 2 1 into U 1 3 plus L 2 2 U 2 3 and from here it is 14. So, L 2 1 is 3, U 1 3 is 4 plus L 2 2 is 2, U 2 3 equals to 14. So, from here I will get 2 U 2 3 equals to 2. So, U 2 3 equals to 1 and finally, I will compare this element. So, this element is L 3 1. So, L 3 1 is already known to us it is 2 into U 1 3 which is 4 plus L 3 2 L 3 2 is 2 into U 2 3 which is 1 plus L 3 3 equals to 13. So, 8 plus 2 10. So, from here I got L 3 3 is 13 minus 10 that is 3. So, in this way I calculated all the 9 entries. So, now if I write these 9 entries the decomposition of or LU decomposition of this matrix will be 1, 3, 2 then L 2 2 is 2, L 3 2 is 2, L 3 3 is 3. So, this is the lower triangular matrix and the upper triangular matrix is U 1 2 is 2, U 1 3 is 4 and finally, U 2 3 is 1. So, hence this is an example of LU decomposition of a given matrix A when the diagonal entries are diagonal entries of the upper triangular matrix are 1. So, this is the example of Doolittle method. So, as you can see u 1 1 will be 1, u 1 2 will be 2, u 1 3 will be 4. So, this is coming from the first row. Similarly, first column gives me L 2 1 equals to 3 and L 3 1 equals to 2. Similarly, making the other comparisons, I will be able to decompose the matrix A, which is the same matrix as I have taken in Crouch method equals to 
product of these two matrices. Now, this is about the factorization or decomposition. Now, question how to solve a linear system using the concept of factorization. So, let me explain it. So, basically we are having A x equals to B. So, I have decomposed A as L into U. So, L u into x equals to b. Now, what I will do? Let us assume that this u x equals to z. So, what I will be having? u x will be a column vector. So, let us say it is z 1, z 2, z n. So, u x equals to z and if I substitute u x equals to z, the original system will become L z equals to b. Here you can note down that L is a lower triangular matrix. So, what I will do? It will be something like that L 1 1 0 0 L 2 1 L 2 2 0 L 3 1 L 3 2 L 3 3 into z 1, z 2, z 3. This equals to b 1, b 2, b 3. So, what I can do? It is a lower triangular matrix. So, from the first equation, it gives z 1 equals to b 1 upon L 1 1 directly. Now, what I will do? In the second equation, I will substitute the value of z 1 and I will get the value of z 2. Similarly, from the third equation, I will substitute the value of z 1 and z 2 and I will get the value of z 3. So, this is something I am doing like forward substitution. So, making use of forward substitution, I am getting the values of z 1, z 2 and z 3. So, once z 1 and z 1, z 2 and z 3 are or up to z n, if we are having n dimensional matrix and y n matrix, then I can find out the unknown vector z. So, here what I am doing? I am making use of forward substitution. and I am to calculate vector z. Once I know the vector z, I know that u x equals to z, u is an upper triangular matrix, z is known to me. By this step, I can find out the values of x by making use of back substitution as we have done in Gaussian elimination. So, from the last equation, I will get the value of x n, I will substitute the value of x n in penultimate equation, from there I will get the value of x n minus 1 and so on. Finally, substituting the value of x n, x n minus 1 up to x 2, from the first equation I will get the value of x 1. And this method is called Krauss method for solving the linear system of equation. So, here what we are doing? First, we are decomposing our coefficient matrix as the product of lower triangular and upper triangular matrix. And then we are using forward substitution and finally, back substitution. This is the example which I have taken earlier. So, suppose we are having this system of equation 1, 2, 4, 3, 8, 14, 2, 6, 13. So, 3 equations with 3 unknowns, the matrix coefficient matrix is same which I have taken earlier. 
So, I can write this as product of L into U x equals to B. Now, assume this equals to Z1, Z2, Z3. So, what will happen if I substitute this by Z1, Z2, Z3? The original system can be written like this. From here, using the forward substitution, I can get Z1 equals to 4, Z2 equals to 0, and Z3 equals to 3. What I will do now? I will put the value of Z1, Z2, Z3 here, and I will get the values of x1, x2, and x3, which is coming out like x1 equals to 2, x2 equals to minus 1, and x3 equals to 1, which is the solution of the system. We can also find out the inverse using the LU decomposition. So, for finding the inverse, you know that we can write A equals to L into U. So, A inverse will become LU inverse that is basically U inverse into L inverse. Now, question is whether this method will always work? No. This method fails if any of the diagonal elements from either from the lower triangular matrix or from the upper triangular matrix in the two methods is 0. Because what will happen for calculating the values of other variable, the diagonal elements used to come in denominator and if it is 0 we cannot find a finite value for the other variable. So, what is the condition sufficient condition for this method? LU decomposition is guaranteed to give you a solution if the matrix A is a positive definite matrix. Now, what we mean by a positive definite matrix? A symmetric n by n matrix A is said to be positive definite if you take a non-zero vector x, the product of x transpose a into x comes out positive. There are some other property of the positive definite matrix like a positive definite matrix will be always invertible, means determinant will be positive or non-zero. All the eigenvalues with corresponding real eigenvector of a positive definite matrix will be positive. A symmetric matrix is positive definite if all the diagonal entries are positive and each diagonal entry is greater than the sum of the absolute values of all other entries in the corresponding row and columns. There is one more method for the symmetric matrix, a matrix if the coefficient matrix is a symmetric matrix that is called Cholesky method. Basically, since the coefficient matrix is the symmetric, we can write it as the product of L into L transpose. So, if L is a lower triangular matrix, L transpose will become an upper triangular matrix. So, in other way, we can write A as the product of an upper triangular matrix U into U transpose. Hence, in decomposition, we need to find out only one matrix instead of L and U either L or U and then the rest of the process will be similar to the Crouch's or Doolittle method. Like if you are writing A equals to L into L transpose, the system of equations A x equals to B can be written as L into L transpose as x equals to B just assume L transpose as x equals to Z. So, this will give Lz equals to B. So, from here you will calculate Z and then you can substitute back the value of Z here to find out X. If L is non singular, you can calculate Z as L inverse B and then finally X as L transpose inverse Z that is L inverse transpose Z. Similarly, you can use Cholesky method to find out the inverse of a matrix. So, A inverse is given by L inverse transpose into L inverse. So, this is the working process equations to find out the entries in the Cholesky method. The, it will be the same as we have did in Krauss method. 
and only change will be due to, due to the symmetric property of A. Consider this example, it is a 4 by 4 system, the coefficient matrix is a tridiagonal matrix, it is a symmetric matrix. So, if we solve this system using Cholesky method, I will take L as the lower triangular matrix, LL transpose will become like this. So, here this will be the transpose of L, products can be written as in this way. After comparing the coefficient, uh, the entries of A with the entries of this matrix, L comes out in this way. Okay. From here, I will get the values of Z1, Z2, Z3, Z4. Once I will get Z1, Z2, Z3, Z4, I can solve LTX equals to Z using the back substitution and I will get the values of X1 age 56 upon 209, X2 age 15 upon 209 x 3 is uh, sorry yeah x 1 is x 3 is 4 upon 209 and x 4 is 1 upon 209. If I want to find out L inverse the same process L inverse comes out in this way which is equal to this particular matrix and A inverse will become L inverse transpose into L inverse that this is the matrix A inverse. So, in this lecture I discuss about method based on triangular matrix matrices for solving the linear system of equations. Here first I discuss about the Krauss method and Doolittle method and finally, I have given a small explanation, uh, explanation to Cholesky decomposition which is basically in the case when a is a symmetric matrix. In the next lecture, I will go to other category for solving the linear system of equations and that category is called iterative methods. So far, I have discussed direct methods and iterative methods are basically having few advantages over the direct methods. So, thank you very much for listening this lecture.